a lot of different things, and, and it's about uh, trust and, and betrayal. It's about uh, adultery and about an, a kind of feeling of reaching the heights and, and then how things change, how they, uh, how they manifest, how they, um, they mature and then they go back. And it's about uh, a world that uh, for some reason I think is identifiable. You can identify with this world, even though you, it's exotic in its own way. Yet, the emotions, the feelings are very identifiable. You immediately know what's, feel it. Jeremy Irons plays Rudolfo, and I play Aldo Gucci, and we're brothers, and we own Gucci. It's ours. Our father started it, and uh, we... Uh, carrying on and and uh, it's uh, it's uh, uh, it, it, in the 90s it was really it, it had a, a phase in the 80s you know how those things fluctuate and it was doing well and uh, the business was uh, prosperous and also the nature of the material was uh, was sometimes a, a bit jaded and yet it was Gucci and it was, uh, it had made a, made a great name for itself and its, it's, its quality was way up there. At the same time, Aldo was trying to keep it afloat and the competition came and all that. And the two brothers are different. I think Rudolfo tends to be more artistic and stays back and is, doesn't have, um, the, he, he doesn't get caught up in the avarice and he, he stays, keeps himself at distance and, and Aldo is much more oriented to the world and what it requires in the competition and is always looking for a new angle and he loves his brother, he loves Rudolf, they love each other but they are aware of their differences. So if you were to say uh, that Aldo is the person who knows the business inside and out. And uh, he prefers, he feels more comfortable outside running the show because he knows that Rudolfo has a good control of the, uh, the insight. He still has ideas, comes up with them all the time. He has the son, Paolo, played by Jared Lido. And Jared is, um, and, and Paolo is, who knows? Yeah, you know, I, I can say if the character in the film is played more or less, uh, um, he, he's not on, on the, the, the brightest bulb on the shelf. Although, it, it, I don't like making that determination, but he is different and he's awkward at times and is uh, can be easily uh, manipulated and uh, so uh, that's that's his almost his Achilles heel almost Aldo's Achilles heel he knows it but he has great love for his son you know, we're in Italy he's a strange looking person and I thought uh, okay and I looked around just to know that he was belonged there because I mean, he came out of nowhere he said Papa and then um, Somebody said, knew that I was a little perplexed with what to do. They said, it's Jared. <laughs> you have no idea. He was not anything I had ever seen before. He was a total different person. I've never seen that. I mean, that's one thing people put makeup on. It's one thing. He is the person they made him up to be. And I just bowed to him. And I said, when I see genius, I have to just bow. <laughs> You've made my day. You've made, I, I, I want to go do this film now. I want to work. Oh my God, it was inspiring. Patrice is the one that Lady Gaga plays. She made that character. And that's how everybody's going to think of this woman because of what she did. How she, uh, she 
expresses it and opens it like, well, any great actress would do. I mean, it's hers. Talk about owning something. It's her. It's hers. This is so different from what she did with Stars Born. It's different, totally. It's a, so that's going to be a revelation. You'll see it. It's great to see. You know, she's a star is born, a great actress is born. It's, it's amazing. Oh, the great uh, uh, Adam Driver. He's great. I don't understand how he does these different roles he does. I, I, mean, I mean, he's. I mean, he embodies a role in such a way, and he brings another. He brings a dimension to the film. That in some ways lifts it and grounds it at the same time. You know where you are when you're with Maurizio. It, there's a, a level that he plays on. It's so individual, his own thing, and and he he brings that kind of um, solidarity to the film, you know where you are. But it's a great performance, I have to say. It's, it's again, nuanced, very nuanced, subtle, but it's why you go to the movies, really, to see that. I was very, uh, very taken with it. The way Wrigley Scott takes it, he makes it, brings it up. He gives it a kind of uh, energy and, and, and drama and humor and it makes it my uh, he's a great filmmaker Wrigley Scott is a great filmmaker it's interesting when someone who has such natural gifts I mean the talent he has the just the sense of things and he's been doing it for 50 years 50 years so he's learned a, he's learned a few things be out there and he goes for it and uh, he's got a great energy of course and he helps you. He really, truly helps you. You're doing a scene, and he, he says to me, oh, okay, um, yes, Al, yes, yes. Well, why don't you do this? Do the scene from the middle and do the first part at the end. And it, you, you think, nobody has ever said that to me. I've never heard that said before. I don't know what to do. This is crazy. And you do it, and it works. So... You know, after that, it's, it's, it's someone who's, uh, it's like he's magic. He does magic. And he shoots at four cameras. What's, what's better than that?